If you're working with web pages or building a lesson in a learning management tool like Canvas or Blackboard, one of the things that you might want to do is make sure that all of your images are labeled with alt tags so people that are visually impaired or are using a screen reader can actually know what that image is about. And not just a decorative image, but those images that actually convey meaning and have some context to the lesson or to the web page that you're presenting. ChatGPT, with its new image recognition capabilities, can help you get started if you get stuck on making these alt tags. Let me show you how. I'm going to come here. First of all, you'll notice you can attach an image now with ChatGPT4. This is the paid version, and you'll have to have this right now for uh, the ability to do this. However, I will tell you things are changing very quickly. And I imagine someday this is going to be baked into everything. I'm going to upload an image here, one that I downloaded from Pixabay, and I'm simply going to give it a prompt to describe the image as concisely as possible, explain the context of the image, capitalize the first letter of each sentence, and end with whole sentences with a period, and limit your output to 140 characters or less. Now that limit of 140 characters is somewhat arbitrary, but you'll find that a lot of systems will want you to limit the alt tag uh, output because uh, even though it's unlimited, you can imagine if you're visually impaired and you're using a screen reader, this may just go on and on and on and may not be uh, very useful to you if it's five paragraphs long. So we want to keep it fairly concise here. So I'm going to go ahead and ask it to generate this. And it says, woman in a blue shirt displays a frustrated expression, raising clenched fists by her sides. Okay, so I don't know if this would add a lot to a lesson or to a web page. It might be more of a decorative image, but we at least have some idea of an alt tag that might be appropriate. Let me have try something here that has a little more meaning. This is something that I actually did a screen capture of, so there's no metadata or anything else in this image for the um, AI to look at. It will... Uh, interpret metadata if you do have a photo and you have uh, who took the photo and what it's of and all that kind of stuff attached to it. I'm going to use the same prompt again. Okay, but I just did a screen capture of this. But it knows that this is a graph depicting the rising number of objects in these different orbits from 1950 to 20, uh, 2210. And it says that the LEO shows the sharpest increase. Okay, so uh, this is a fairly good interpretation of what this graph is showing. Maybe there's some other nuances that we would want to talk about the spike here around 2010 or uh, what's going on there. But those are things that we could add on our own or we could modify the prompt. So hopefully this gives you just another tool that you can use to help you generate your alt tags. Certainly you could automate this process if you have lots and lots of alt tags to create. Good luck and I'll talk to you soon.